guys are now grounded. Hey guys, what? Have you been getting worried about Kaylou and his brothers? I haven't seen them since yesterday. Oh yeah. Uh, why are they in bed trying to forget their um babysitter that they that they talked to us about yesterday? No, I think it's something different. He, when I when I was here when last night in like in the middle of the night, I was been hearing like demon cries, like almost a demon like like Kalu sounding so depressed that he won't eat, drink, or do anything fun. Oh, maybe you should go check on him. Yeah, you're right. I should. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Hey, Kaylu, are you all right? You haven't been. What the f? Oh. <gasps> Kaylu, what is wrong with you? Mom, please stay out of it. I'm trying to have, like, a few-day moment of silence on my father. Well, your father treated you like crap. Excuse us! Uh, excuse me, what? I thought we told you the real truth about us. Oh, um, why not come downstairs and tell me? Can I take this portrait with me? Ah, <sighs> fine. So, what's going on? Well, he's probably, you know, insane in the brain about Boris. What? Boris? Oh, I remember him. Yeah, he died many months ago, and he told me that he has the real truth to talk about, to talk, to talk to me about his dad and his mom. Jeez, I know. My gosh, this better be good. There you are, Kaylu. Are you ready to tell us the truth now? Yes, we're always ready. Come here, brothers. Uh, Kaylu, why are you acting like this? I want to tell you the real truth, Mrs. and Mr. Marquez. As you can see, my life has been going through a lot of issues. When me and my brothers were first born, my dad never wanted us, wanted to take care of us because his only excuse was that we were going to be spoiled brats. And my dad got his grounding from his father. And his biggest impact is the death of his wife. When his wife was pregnant, he told, he told, uh, our dad told his wife that he was filing a divorce because he was pregnant oh, come on why am i getting this mixed up as i was saying she drove all by herself to the hospital to g give birth to us and then when our dad fought with our mom real mom even more she just decided to leave and leave to a different country and never ever come back but something really bad happened the plane crashed and she died we had nowhere to live until our dad about a month later decided to take care of us so what he pretty much did he abused us he taught us how to commit crimes and he even taught us how to eat poisonous food without getting sick. So thanks to him poisoning our food, this made me misbehave like a lot. Like a lot, lot. So that's why you brought us a babysitter over here. But you guys are actually pretty much welcome for arresting that criminal that you did not realize until he actually went to jail for many years. And then he kept escaping and then... And then we realized that he was a pedophile, a drug taker, a drug addict, or whatever it is. But still, it's not our fault. It's our parents. And we didn't, And then for this entire time, we wanted to tell them the real truth of us and see what they did wrong. But you guys decided to put them to their own... <laughs> and they decided to put things into their own hands. Our, I remember that one, those, that week that our dad got executed, 
it was really sad. I I was I almost I almost felt like that I was going to be so depressed that I might not eat or drink for an entire year. But I got I'm trying to get over it, but but every time I try to forget it, it triggers right in my mind like dad grounding us, our mom be abandoning us, and especially our dad betraying us and treating us like this. That's my real truth of me and my brothers. So yeah, my dad taught me how to misbehave and all that. It's making me want to cry just to think about it. Just please guys, just please let me revive my dad and my mo real mom. Just please. I also quit PBS Kids because I'm getting sick and tired of everyone bullying me, hating me, and especially people still thinking that I'm just a sore loser. So guys, forgive us, let us, let us revive my real parents, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> Can't you, Lou? You have told us the facts. Yes, I now understand. Me too. What you just said made, makes me want to move out. Really? Yes, that's right. We're moving. You're moving out of here now just because we said all that? Yeah, we are sorry for grounding you too. It's not your fault. It's ours. Actually, it's our real parents. Whoever's fault it is, it's not yours. Just please. Let us be. Uh, let us be. We're moving out. What the? Call us if you wanna. If you wanna hang out. See ya. <clears throat> Let's pray to our dad one more time. Because I got this revive in my hand. Where? I mean, right here. Oh, let's get to the car and stop being depressed. <laughs> Please, Dad, forgive me what I'm gonna do. Oh my, I remember him. Dad, heat up. <gasps> oh my, it worked! Yes, I know. Hey, Dad, are you okay? We can talk this out. I don't care. You really think you can actually take me to the police station and execute me for things that you've done? Seriously, Dad, you haven't heard the story. <laughs> ha! You loser. You crashed into the wall instead of us. Ah! Dang it. Ow. Oh. Thanks a lot. You set a Lou flying. Ow. What is wrong with you? We were gonna tell you the truth. The reason why we've been misbehaving because of you. Wait, what? That's right. You were the one that tortured us and misbehaved and made us misbehave because your only excuse that we were gonna be brats. Well, guess what? We've done it to you because just to make you mad. A and for the stuff that you taught us. Unacceptable. And guess what? Since our mother um, um, has, is buried in a cemetery very, very far away, we're going to revive her as well. Oh, no, you don't. Everyone in the car. <laughs> oh, you have gone too far. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
now. We're almost there. What? What? Since when did your dad take my motorcycle? I don't know. Uh, we need to go faster. Oh, no, you don't. Look, I see the cemetery. Um, Kitty Lou, I have a strange feeling. Why? We used to be very depressed and now we're excited in action. I know. This is why I revived my dad first. Okay. Her grave looks the same. Who cares? Oh my gosh. What? I don't remember her at all. She looks so different. I know, we've been used to Mrs. Marquez for quite a while. Okay, did you bring a revive? N wait, no? What do you mean, no? Oh, wait, yes, I did. It's, it's this, it's this revive in a bottle, so. Huh? Mom? Is that you? Kalu? Oh my gosh! You groan! Oh my gosh! I haven't seen you since I was just a little baby. Me neither. Oh my gosh. It was been so long. What? So you revive my wife, huh? <gasps> uh, Mom, stay back. Well, I am going to show them who's boss. Whoa, Mom, look at you go. So you decided to teach my children how to misbehave like that. I'm the one who gave birth to them, and I cannot believe that you divorced with me after um, after I said that I was pregnant. So, give me my gun back? Not a chance. <laughs> oh. 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 oh man, I got the sense knocked into- <laughs> Woo Look at you go! Yes, I know. That was my fighting skill that I haven't revealed in a long time. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, that was so cool. Oh no. Ah. Ah. Give me that gun. And all I can say about... Ah. Uh, ow. My head hurts. All I can say about you, Doris, is... <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't acceptable with my bike, but it was still very funny. I know. He should probably understand now. Oh. Doris, is that you? Yeah, with my kids. That, that you thought they were brats. Oh, I am really sorry. Uh, uh, I... Shh. If you're going to be acting nice, then I'll forgive you. Really? Yes. Well, I am really sorry. I should say sorry like a thousand times of what I've done. It wasn't your fault. Wait, what? You thought I thought it was. Children, listen. It was his dad's fault. Really? Yeah, many years ago, he killed his dad with an RPG because he wouldn't stop being mean to him. Yes, that's the, you know, point. And yeah, when I was taking the plane, I actually wanted to commit suicide. So you were the one that caused the plane crash? No, probably because Boris gave them beer. Well, you know what? I'll forgive you. Yes! Yes! Now my real mom and real dad are back together!
together. Yeah! Yeah! Wow! This is so beautiful. My mom and my dad are getting reunited. I know. And I could be more surprised that you revived them. As, I mean, the fight was kind of short. Oh, here she comes. Oh my, this is gonna be the most beautiful moment I've ever had in my life. So we thank each one of you for coming to the marriage of this lovely couple. A reunited man with a reunited woman. So, Boris Anderson, would you take Doris Anderson as your lawfully wet, wet old wife? I do. And you, Doris Anderson, would take Boris Anderson as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Now the two kiss. You guys actually did it! You guys reunited it once and for all! Yeah, I know. And also, I got a question. Who are those guys right there with the other guy in the blue shirt? Oh, that's Mrs. and Mr. Marquez. Ah, that's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And also, right there, the blue shirt kid is Oliak. We made him with our cloning machine. Cloning machine, eh? That's kind of strange, but whatever. So anyways, who wants the family car to be? That sweet looking Corvette. Oh yeah, that's bad. So yeah, are you ready to drive off and put some tin cans behind it? Yeah! <laughs> So, Boris and Doris have been revived, and then they got reunited. Now, they're, now the next day, Keilu and his brothers are going to have the first day as actual mother and father. More episodes coming soon.